This is Lee Jampolsky, and this is a recording of a journal entry from December 7th, 2020. It's entitled, Being With My Dad. When I was a kid, Dad used to take me camping. I remember sleeping next to him and waking up in the night, feeling comforted that he was there, safe, lying on my back. I looked to space and found myself wondering where it begins, where it ends. There, beside my father, my young mind had a taste of the infinite. Now, Dad is 95 and I am 63. I lie in his houseboat's window seat by his bedside. His camping mat is now a hospital bed. I look into the divine energy that flows within him the same expansive energy in the night sky of decades ago. For this moment, I look beyond his suffering and immerse myself in that which has no end, no beginning, the vastness of the eternal. The process of being with dad as he approaches his transition in these weeks is most challenging when I approach it all through my ego's linear thinking. His earthly life began in 1925 from two Jewish immigrant parents, and he grew into a man of growth, courage, service, and achievements. Now his body is slipping away day by day. But this linear sequence of life events is not his essence. Whereas my linear thinking argues that everything has a beginning and an end, I can focus today on that which is within and around him and never dies. The divine energy flowing through dad that inspired all the miracles in his life. Experiencing even a glimpse of the infinite and eternal helps me rise above the suffering he is having knowing such struggles are inherently impermanent. But at the same time, in my humanness, I struggle as I witness his memory, his jeriness, his dadness diminish, and I become sad, and I become anxious. I contemplate what is left if his personality, his I, is no longer strong or slips away entirely. Then I think of one of my favorite places, Carmel Beach, and I recall as a kid body surfing with dad in these waves. It was such a joyful time, and I remember how skilled he was in the water and effortlessly riding the waves to shore. I've sat on this beach countless times over six decades when problems or pain occupy my mind. I watch the breath of the sea, the waves flowing in, receding out, mixing with the vast waters. This comes to me. Dad's soul is receding out, not to disappear, but to join with all souls in the waters of oneness and he is as skilled in the waves as ever. Today, may I sit with Dad in the same manner as I sit by the sea, in the same way as we body surfed the waves together. The divine energy that flows through Dad, me, you, the universe, and his soul, mine, yours, have no beginning or end and are one. This brings me peace as I am with dad day after day and week after week. Then he moans in pain and my peace shatters in a microsecond. All I want is to stop the pain and bring this man who has served so many some comfort. And then, in the times where I can recenter again, I realize the way I can help the most is to do my best to stop seeing only his suffering and to stand witness to his receding soul returning to the sea of soul 
and the divine energy flowing strongly through him. Let me help him ride the receding wave, even when tossed and thrown about, and to be in the sea with him, being awed by the innate knowledge of how to ride this final wave. It is unlikely I will do this wholly and purely in my human experience and be yanked back by wanting his suffering to stop. But each time I see and feel the purity of his soul and divine energy, I serve him in the same manner that he has helped so many in their transition. The most concise way I could remind myself of this is to say often to myself, Dad's suffering comes and goes, rises and falls, and will at some point cease. But the divine energy flowing has no beginning or end and will forever be. Dad's soul's receding wave is a beautiful thing to witness as it joins the sea of souls to then return in a wave once again. If I went to see the essence of Dad, I focus on the divine energy. The beauty is being with him and it becomes a spiritual journey, not allowing suffering to be all I see. And then in front of me and everywhere, there is the essence of dad, this time skillfully riding the wave out to sea.